Hello and welcome to News Click. I am Sumedha and on this episode of the Daily Roundup, we give you a heads up on some of the most important stories that we report about at News Click. Over the course of yesterday, which is the 18th and 19th today, multiple students and teachers from across the country congregated in Delhi to again protest against Modi government's education policies. Yesterday, we saw that there were multiple students who had come down to Delhi under the banner of five major organizations. Here's a look at what happened yesterday. Today, five left organizations are marching on the parliament of India. And our demands are very simple. Demands which we shouldn't ask for in 21st century. Like it should be a fundamental right, a right of all the people for free education and employment. This BJP government came into power five years ago with the slogan of two crore jobs. And we are demanding it. If within ten, uh, five years, there should be 10 crore jobs. But if the jobs are there, why the youth is on the roads of Delhi? We are seeing how the government is using the administration to curtail down the democratic movement, the student movement inside the campuses. We have seen few days back in Delhi University, our comrades, while well, they were campaigning for the Save Democracy, Save Nation, uh, Save Education campaign, they were attacked by the ABBP goons. They were brutally attacked. Uh, women comrades were molested. And this is very interesting why our organization, which talk about nation building and being in a nationalist organization get very scared when you talk about saving our nation where you talk about that education should be accessible to everyone when you talk about that the reservation has to be given to everyone in today's protest multiple teachers ranging from the primary school level to the universities came down to Delhi the major concerns of the teachers are similar to that of the students however there are some specific demands that they highlighted the demand of teachers are very similar to that of the students yet there are some specific concerns the concerns of the teachers follow similar lines of the concerns that were highlighted by the students yesterday however there are some specific demands of the teachers such as the provision of pension services which has not been finalized by the Modi government still there were many teachers who were constantly pointing towards the restoration of the 200 point roster which has been changed by the Modi government to pave way the 13 point roster is being looked at as an extremely exclusionary and casteist move which will restrict the entry of those coming from the marginalized communities such as Dalits, OBCs and Muslim candidates. The teachers also went on to criticize the policies of privatization of the Modi government. They went ahead to state that the Modi government is constantly telling India that there is only one way to improve higher education in the country, which is privatization. However, that is not true. If the government seriously puts in some effort, Indian higher education can benefit through public reforms. It is important to remember that this was not the only march which is being conducted by students and teachers together. Over the last few months, this community has come together at several junctures to reiterate the same concerns again and again. And in this election season, it is very important for the nation to make Indian higher education an electoral agenda. The Indian Army CRPF and the Jammu and Kashmir police have addressed a joint press conference on the Pulwama attack today. Lieutenant General KGS Dillon of the Indian Army addressing the press conference said that the terrorists had been killed in less than 100 hours after the Pulwama attack took place, in which over 40 soldiers were killed by a suicide bomber. The Army General also reiterated that anyone who picks up a gun in the valley will be eliminated. Here is a sneak peek of the press conference. The success of this operation within less than 100 hours was a result of complete synergy between all security forces, BNP Army, JKP, SOG, CRPF, or the intelligences. We are working in complete cohesion and unison. In the end, once again, with prayer on my lips and pride in my heart, I pay my homage to all the martyrs of 14th February convoy attack and yesterday's operation. Meanwhile, Pakistani Prime Minister Imran Khan too held a press conference today. Offering full support to any investigation in the Pulwama attack, he said that India has blamed Pakistan without any evidence and that if India finds proof, then it should give it to Pakistan so that action can be taken. 
He further said that it's an election season. If the Indian government thinks that it can attack Pakistan and we will not think of retaliating, we will retaliate. International human rights organization Amnesty International recently published a report called Destination Occupation detailing how international digital tourism companies are churning out profits by participating in business with the apartheid state of Israel. The report further states that tourism companies offer travel and house rental services in the illegal Israeli settlements, which is considered a war crime and is illegal under the international law. In report to this, on Tuesday, an Israeli minister threatened to ban Amnesty International from entering Israel and accused it of becoming the leader of anti-Semitic boycott, disinvestment and sanctions campaign. Amnesty International responded to this threat by saying that Israeli officials are trying to silence reports of Israel's war crimes in the occupied Palestinian territories. Currently, there are more than 600,000 Jewish settlers living in more than 200 settlements in the two areas, which Palestinians seek as a part of the independent Palestinian state. That's all that we have for you today on this episode of the Daily Roundup. To follow these stories and many more, log on to our website www.newsclick.in, subscribe to our channel on YouTube and follow us on Facebook. Thank you.